In this video, I'm going to show you how to crimp RJ45 mod plugs with the regular crimping tools as well as the pass-through. So I know this is a touchy subject for a lot of people, but I'm going to play Switzerland and show you how to do both. Also, if you like these videos and want to support LVN, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button. Huzzah! Hi, I'm Blake, founder of Low Voltage Nation, where we help other people carve out a fulfilling career path in low voltage and technology. If you wanna learn about basic crimping skills, this video is for you. So let's get started. All right, so first we're gonna do regular crimp, uh, crimping tools. So this is the Klein tools. This is a RJ45, RJ11. This is my preferred one. And we're gonna start off using Superior SX cable. This is high quality, I love this CAT6 cable. And we're gonna do TIA568B, which is pretty common. Uh, if you're doing telco stuff or in other countries or government work, sometimes they use the A um, scheme, but always check, your spe always check your specifications for what the job requires. But your safest bet is to do B, 568B. So let's start with ringing the cable using the crimping tool and then breaking it apart. So orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Uh, so I can untwist them pretty quickly with my fingers. Some people use uh, the snips. They just kind of like straighten it out like that with the snips. Um, but this cable, the Superior SX cable actually is pretty nice. You can un undo it pretty quickly. So get it nice and trimmed up. And if you're doing regulars, you'll kind of get the feel for it eventually where you just know where to cut. So boom, cut it. And then put it into your mod plug with the tab facing down typically so you can see the color coding. And then that's a, that's a pretty good, you wanna get it right up to the very end of the cable. And then once you're Make sure the sleeve is all the way in there so it crimps down. There's no nothing exposed. Keep the twist nice and tight. It's CAT6. Want to maintain the integrity so it certifies properly. And then boom, crimp it down. And then there it is. That's a regular mod plug. Or sometimes they call them ice cubes. It's an R RJ45 plug. All right, next is the pass-through. So people like these because they are quicker in some cases. And you can also see the color coding a lot easier because it sticks out the end. I'll show you what I mean here in a second, but uh, I don't use these. I always carry uh, the Simply 45 on me, but you need the special mod plugs for it. So I just use regulars just because it's easier. It's what I learned on. So it's kind of an old school thing. So uh, let's go ahead and use a ringing tool or score the jacket uh, if, you, if you're that precise and know how to do it properly, uh, or else you run the risk of exposing copper if you don't use a ringing tool. So I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do uh, orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. TIA 568B. Trim a little bit off the top. You wanna leave a lot. You wanna leave a lot of cable so you can put it through the pass through. As you can see, the wires are sticking out of the end. So you can put the boot on like that and then put it through the crimping tool and then make sure it cleanly gets all the wires. And there you have it. All right, so that's how you crimp regular RJ45 mod plugs and the pass-through. I hope you learned something today. Also, if you wanna join our low voltage group, go to join.lowvoltagenation.com. We've got consultants, business owners, manufacturers, suppliers, distributors, technicians. We're all in one big group, helping each other be successful. There's also the opportunity to attend trainings, meetups, and get discounts from some of the vendors as well. So go to join.lowvoltagenation.com and we'll see you soon. All right, y'all take care. Peace. <laughs>